No, you don't. You know when you feel sorry for your mate, you just give them the win, right? Wow, you must be real bad. You're both next next year. I'm ready for you both. <laughs>Welcome to EA Sports in the game. My name's Kyle Walker, and today I'm joined by FG and the man himself, Mr. Jolian Lescott, to talk all things FIFA 22 and Manchester City. Right, we've got to tackle it. We've got to talk about it. It's a sore subject. I know the Champions League, it was a tough result for us all to take as fans, but I want to know what it's like as a player. You both were in the stadium, so we get both perspectives, but working there, being in those situations as a player as well, how do you, how do you deal with that, Jolien? It's probably easier to deal with as a player because you can reflect on your performance. Like when I was working there, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know, you, you, you're trying to be energetic and also remember the progression of the club because I was trying to say like, Real Madrid have won that competition more times than we've been in the competition and we're favourites to beat them. <laughs> And we're disappointed. we're disappointed after the first leg having beaten them, you know what I mean? So just putting all them things into perspective was, was hard, but to lose it that late, the only thing I could say, and hopefully fans can relate, is that now we kind of know how United fans feel 10 years ago. I mean, it's true, <laughs> it's very true. Having that moment and seeing it, I mean, FG, you were there, as I said, you were in a different position to where Jolian was. He was on the ground, you were right in the, the skies, in the stands. How was it? Are you over it yet? Are you okay? I'm over it now, but I still can't believe the way that it happened. Like, it was very... You know what? It was an element of typical City from, like, when we were growing up. But, like, not something we'd expect with our team. But it's, it's football, isn't it? Like, like Julian said, like, we, we're, we're going to get plenty more opportunities. I didn't know that Real Madrid had won it, like, that many times until after I'd left the, left the ground and realised. But, yeah, obviously, I was upset about it, but... We've still got the league to, to go for and we, we go again and hopefully one day we'll look back and we'll, we'll <laughs> smile eventually when we do win it because I hope hopefully we will win it soon. Now the league is something that we do need to focus on then. It's important that you do bounce back in the right way. We certainly did that. Newcastle 5-0, Wolves 5-1. I mean, Jolian, 10 goals, two games. What a way to come back. Yeah, perfect. Um, I was nervous for the, the Newcastle. I, I knew the fans would generate an atmosphere that lift lift the team um but i think the biggest momentum shift was the spurs liverpool result i think that helped so much i think everyone felt not just relieved but just like oh, okay we can refocus on this because this is equally as important let's not take it for granted and that wasn't the case obviously battered both of the teams and I, as much as i enjoyed the Wolves performance. I went there with my youngest, who's a Wolves fan, so the, the, <laughs> the car ride was home, it was quiet, it was a little bit quiet. <laughs> Definitely, and I mean, in that Newcastle game, you had goals and huge performances from Rodri, Laporte, Phil Foden, FG, surely you can guess the link that I'm going with right here. Those three names, what did they feature in? Team of the season. That's right, let's have a look at the FIFA 22 team of the season. The Premier League team of the season has been announced and Manchester City's Ruben Diaz, Jao Cancelo, Rodri, Bernardo Silva and Kevin De Bruyne are all included. But it doesn't stop just there. Let me tell you that. We've also got Aymeric Laporte in the community team of the season. Phil Foden has his own SBC. I mean, FG, incredible, right? It's so good to be a City fan and be able to play this game. We, we've got like the best items on the game playing for our football club. And that Phil Foden, by the way, is the best item I've used. Ridiculous. Really? Unbel he makes me look like Ryan and Chills. He's unbelievable. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen it, but I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that. Now, if you've not played FIFA 22, stop right there, pause the video, load up your console and get it downloaded. It is free to download on PS Plus until the 6th of June. And all you'll need, two, three days maximum practice, 
you'll be better than this guy. So make sure you go and do that right now. And for those of you who have played Ultimate Team this year, well, you'll know that Manchester City, they've been treated to some incredible foot items. They include Team of the Season, Team of the Year, Team of the Week. The list goes on and on and on. And Jolian, we ask you to go back through the archives of this year to have a look at all the Manchester City foot items on FIFA 22. Let's talk through your ultimate 11 of Manchester City foot items. Yeah, there was a lot to choose from, to be fair. It, it was surprising that only Edison hasn't got a, a special card. Um, I mean, I'm item. surprised at that. I'm yeah. surprised at it. Yeah, it's wild. And it's probably his first time as well. Can't be many times he hasn't got one. But yeah, so Edison's in goal. I uh, went for Carl Walker, um, Champions League, Carl Walker, right back, team of the season. Ruben Diaz with Laporte. Stones was close. Stones was close. We had a discussion yeah, about we had this. A we? Yeah, but Laporte was definitely in the balance of the left foot and the pace. 90 pace is unbeatable, that. That's unbeatable. But I mean, this is your yeah, team. This yeah. is your team. And then Jao Cancelo, arguably the best fullback on the game, um, if not the best. I by think, far. What, what are you saying about but the defence, the goalkeeper? I'm happy yeah. so far. Yeah, I'm happy, happy, yeah. I'm happy. Are you so sure? Our, our resident expert? You nope. can't really, you can't argue with someone no, who's playing yeah. centre half and knows about football. Yeah. True. And, and he, has he, also worked you on FIFA as well. I know he's all right at FIFA. He's, yeah, he's yeah, all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. Let's talk about the midfield. Yeah, midfield, I went. Uh, Fernandinho, uh, yes, um, KDB. I mean, and it was what before can you last say? Night, yeah, before last night's performance. And my player of the season, Bernardo Silva. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, His work think, rate, everything, everything this season. Yeah, just consistency, just availability as well. You know what I mean? From first game to, to now. Um, and then I went for Raheem, left. Um, Phil, centre forward. Um, it was close to Jesus. Okay. Uh, yeah, but the fact that Phil left again left foot I like I like that and then Riyad five star five star Riyad I he, mean he plays he plays man oh that Riyad Mahrez foot item unbelievable FG incredible he glides like fits the mechanics of the game just unbelievable he's unbelievable in real life as well so it's realistic <laughs> I mean, it really is realistic. Joel, have you been using them? Have you been giving any of these foot items? Because I've not, EA. I'm still waiting. Nah, man, there's, uh, I yeah, I'm still waiting that. for my care package. To okay. Be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting, EA. Now, before we do go on, 10 out of 10 for that team? Yeah, I give it like a uh, nine. Nobody's perfect. Obviously, there's a Jack Grealish item, which is so underrated. Okay. I think it's the only one that's kept its value so far in the game at this point. Incredible. All right, Unbelievable. Okay. So I, did, I did see, but yeah, nah, but, but obviously you can't really pace. argue with your, yeah, your, yeah, with the pace and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You can argue with MFG. That's what we need to do. Nine, right? yeah. Not, yeah. I'm saying nine. Now, be before we go on though, I've got a bit of a quiz for both of you. All right, I'm going to take us all the way back to FIFA 12, 10 years ago, where City had another great team of the season, showing with six players in the team. All right, we had Joe Hart, Vincent Company. David Silva and Yaya Torre. Can you two guess the, the missing players from that one? FIFA 12, two? Who have you just said? Yaya Torre, David Silva, Vincent Company, Joe Hart. Aguero? Yeah. Aguero? Aguero. Are you going with. Yeah, yeah you guys have to. Yeah, Aguero. Yeah, I'll tell uh, Aguero, yeah. yeah. Okay, so. Correct. That's one of them <laughs> right there. All right, we'll go with that one. Um, Second one. Tevez? Ooh. Good shout out. I'm not sure though. I know I'm not sure either because. Yeah, Come on, I mean, to give you a. Go on, give us give a, a clue. I'm, I'm gonna, could be Mikey, you know. Ooh, do you think? He was. He, I, I think he played like 30 certain games that year. So yeah, he was high. But I, do you want me to tell you who it is? Yeah. Go on. Back yourself, Jolly oh, and Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Look at the smile on his face. You know, when you said video, I was about to say, listen, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that season, if, if we really go through certain things, yeah, I was all right that season. I mean, I know you wanted to say yourself, but you just didn't want to put that heat on just in, in case, case it wasn't. Just in, yeah, just in case you said that. It was you, though. You, Sergio, Yaya Torre, David Silva, Vincent Company, Joe Hart. Six players in the team of the season. Incredible. And continuing on from that amazing 2011-2012 squad, well, there's a special item that was released on FIFA 22. Let's have a look. If anyone can, it's him. 
Back to Balotelli. It runs for Aguero. They do it. City win the title. It's Aguero with his 30th goal of the season. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Manchester City are the champions of England. And Aguero gets it in added on time. Ooh, I'd be happy with that as one of our kits. And I mean, 10 years on, even when I think about that moment, it still sends tingles through my body. It was a moment, an iconic moment in Premier League history. And I mean, for you as a player, being on that pitch, being here yeah. at the Etihad, how do you look back on it 10 years ago? It is surreal, to be fair, to just think that it's 10 years like ago. Like, you know, when people say, oh, yeah, he feels like yesterday. It generally feels like a couple of years ago. <laughs> like, 10 years is, is flown by. Um, yeah, like you said, iconic moment, not just for the club, but for the Premier League. Like, I don't care if that moment was emulated by two teams similar. It would be the second time it's done, so it wouldn't be the same as, as that. I mean, as a fan, a question I've always had, did you always believe it was going to happen? In those final few minutes, it no. gets into I'll just put you time. short, man. I'll cut you short. No, I didn't believe that. When, you thought when, it was done? When, no, I didn't think it was done, but I didn't believe that was going to play out. No one believed that. Like, yeah. no one would believe that if that was a film. <laughs> And that was the ending. You'd be like, why have you took it that far? You know yeah, what I mean? So yeah. when they was 2-1 up, I was just thinking, oh, we can't do anything. Like, I don't want to leave my house over the summer. I don't want to go on holiday. I don't want to collect the kids from school. <laughs> I was going to the Euros. I'm like, I don't even want to go to the Euros. It was just like, it was horrible. But that was just for a split second. And then that week after that, <laughs> Amazing. I wanted to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 2-2, two, two, Edin Dzeko equalises that header. He did, man. I mean, he doesn't get yeah, the ball, I man. don't think, because... Edin. It's still going. I mean, still, go still yes, going. Still man. going, Still as going as well. But then a couple of moments later, 93-19, 93-20, Sergio Aguero strikes that ball. As a City fan, I know how I feel, FG. How do you feel? Mate, it's, it's, I still can't believe it happened. It's all a blur to me. Like the last, I think the last, well, the stoppage time, obviously exactly the same as you. I was literally looking at my phone, put it on airplane mode, like didn't want to speak to anyone, didn't want to leave the house, didn't want to do anything. I thought obviously before the game, I think when, when Zava scored the first goal, we've won it, it's yeah, done. Yeah, standard. And then the second half, was it Maki who scored? Mac Maki and... Oh, it was Cissé. Yeah, yeah Cissé. 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 But, but did, yeah. Cissé. Well, you know, um, like the possession at half time was 80%. We had 80% possession. They didn't have a How? shot. How? They didn't have a shot. <laughs> and then we, and, and it wasn't like we just thought it was done. It was just, oh, we thought it was done. Yeah. I was in 111. I remember being sat there, going upstairs, hugging all my mates, like we've won the league, we've, we've done, done it. it. No, see, like, I've been in a similar situation. So at Wolves, we were 3-0 up in the playoff final. I, I thought that was done. Yeah. At half time. And that, was, that was, that was cruising. That was yeah. So we stayed 3-0. And then the Man United game here, when we 2-0 up and we win, we win the league. I thought that was good. <sighs> yeah, that's I painful. That was good at yeah, half time. Well. Yeah, yeah. A lot of City but, players. But the 93 20 game, didn't think it was done. Just, I probably should have. And then, you know what I mean? It probably would have been done. But oh, no, well, we wouldn't have wanted it another way, though, right? Because I mean, that's the best day of my life. How beautiful it was leading <laughs> up to it. I, I, I've said it continuously, and, and I've spoke to the lads. I'd rather win it with six games to go than oh, that. So you'd, so you'd rather take... No, no, we've done it now. We don't have to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we do it. Yeah, I don't want to feel that again. No, no we don't have to do it again. It's over, it's good. Yeah. We've done that. Thanks for that. We've, that, yeah. was, that was the best way to do the first one. But now, yeah, we want to win it. Now we, we just want to win them six feet. We, yeah, before, and enjoy six the months, if you want. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll tell you one really thing. 93-20 was the start of an amazing journey at Manchester City. And I'm happy to say the season's not done just yet. But one thing that is done is in the game for another year. And what a year it has been, FG. You've been incredible. You need to work on your FIFA skills, definitely. Why does he keep saying he can't be as bad as you? I beat him. No, 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 I gave him the win. Yeah. I beat him. It was, no, you know, when you, you know when you feel sorry for your mate, you just give them the win, right? Wow, you must be real bad. You're both next next year. I'm ready for you. <laughs> we'll real see, bad. we'll see. Leighton, unfortunately, is not here for this episode, but he's been incredible. Uh, and Jolian, just gracing us with your presence. It's, it's, been, it's nah. been amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I've missed you guys, man. It's you, been you, good to have you back. Now nah, go on. Go on, I'll let you finish. There we go. All right. <laughs> well, make sure you definitely leave a like and a comment on this video. And we will be back next year. See you then.